This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and today we're in Denver, Colorado. I'm out on location with Mile High Wine Tours, brand new for 2014. They have basically been the original and uh, the best wine place around. We're talking about tours here in the city. I'm here with Philippe, who is the founder, owner. Let's start off, first of all, a little bit about yourself, Philippe. Share with me a little bit how you got involved in this type of industry. Sure, absolutely. Well, uh, originally, I started uh, w doing charity events, and so that brought me into the wine, the champagne, the bar industry. I was doing that actually in South Korea, of all places. I was doing charity events for uh, orphanages and different things like that, and eventually, um, you know, I got into the... I'm, I'm an avid traveler. I love traveling, and so I got into the uh, tourism industry, and I knew that background of wineries, wine bars, champagne bars, and so it just kind of meshed together. Um, I think the main thing that when I started the business was that not a lot of people know about wineries here in Denver. They know that there's breweries, they're everywhere, and so I, our mission really is to spread the word about them and to show everyone what great wineries we have here in Denver. And so we're talking about a few different locations, you get a good variety, um, obviously some popular places. This, this is a popular one here. What are some other stops you guys take along the way? Sure, besides uh, Valestria here, which is great. Uh, we visit Mile High Winery. We visit um, also, actually, one of your um, previous interview, interviewees, uh, Quarter 44, the Champagne Bar. It's a great place, yeah, as well as Von Aquisti and, and a few others. But the, we've really narrowed it down to a few handful wineries that are really the best in, in Denver. Absolutely. Top wineries, quite an adventure you're giving for folks out there. Like you said, though, it's not only enjoyable, but it's an educational process. It's a way to um, expand your knowledge of wine. And um, are, are the folks here, are they pretty friendly when it comes to sharing with you the different tastes and uh, everything to delight your palate? Oh, absolutely. I mean, here, uh, especially here at the, the tasting room, um, the winemaker and everyone here um, basically takes you through the winemaking process as well as every single detail of whatever wine you're tasting one by one. And here you're tasting about 20 wines. So it's quite the learning experience and it's quite the tasting experience. Let me ask you this. How, how does the public respond to this? What, I mean, obviously folks get started on a tour, maybe a little slow, but by the end, tell me there's got to be some great smiles and great stories to go along. Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, I think the biggest thing is that, um, you know, you're spending time with, um, with people for three to six hours. So you really get to make friends with, with people. And by the end of the tour, you're, um, you know, you're actually friends with them. Uh, I've had a lot, of, a lot of guests that are, I've still kept in touch with and are still friends of mine. And so it becomes really, I'd say the closest thing, it's uh, a lifestyle social experience with wine. Obviously, you guys are going to a few key locations, top wineries. So this is something that doesn't take, um, take place on foot. We're talking about, um, yes. do you provide the transportation in this tour? Absolutely, yeah. So uh, whether you're a local here from Colorado or whether you're a tourist, uh, we'll pick you up from your hotel or home and um, you know, pick you up, take you to all these wineries. You'll have lunch included and everything and then just you know, safely take you back to your, your place. I love that. So you're talking about no, no driving involved on my end. I'm able to come out, drink a little bit, have a good time. Although this is more than just drinking, like you said. We're talking about a, an assortment of cheese maybe, assortment of fruits, uh, possibly some edibles on the road as well. Yeah, absolutely. You have a lot of food pairings from fruit, cheeses, crackers, um, as well as, you know, an amazing uh, a la carte gourmet Italian lunch that, it, you know, I've heard any, nothing but good things about this lunch. And so everything's included. Um, if we do tour with one of the th tours that we're doing now, which is quarter 44, there's an assortment of desserts and that sort of thing. So it's the full package. It really, um, it's kind of a short little excursion tour, if you will, for people um, touring and traveling right here in our great city. Oh, absolutely. I think it's been, uh, they're very surprised to find winers here and they're very surprised to see how great quality uh, wineries they are. And so it really, it's a, it's a journey for them and it's a journey for me to learn about everyone. Wonderful. Last time, viewers, take a look at the bottom of the screen right there. What you're going to see is this contact information. Once again, this is a company that began brand new in 2014, really enlightening folks to some great wineries right here in our backyard of Denver, Colorado. That's Mile High Wine Tours, the best way to enjoy Denver and celebrate any special occasion. This is Gary Atensi with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know.